So here is the Damashi poles that we're going to be using today. We're going to use them for bottom fishing. We picked up these poles in the mainland at the Fred Hall show and they're really good. picked up these poles in the mainland at the Fred Hall show and they're really good because when we have our Domashis we like to have everything rigged up and set up and everything but the hooks are like all over the place. The thing with this pole is all the hooks go inside of it so you don't hook yourself or hook anything around it because we like to put it inside of the boat and sometimes stuff will get stuck to it which is a real problem for us but this solves our problem for us. And you can fight pretty good fish with this and hope we catch a lot of fish with this. So the whole entire Damashi or the Sabiki as they call it in the mainland goes inside the pole. And what you gotta do is like use a paper clip or something to push the line through, let it go, and then you tie your setup to it and then after you do that, you can just let it go and then the whole entire setup just comes right out. If they use the torpedo legs, they fit perfectly inside the tips. Here you can see us working the Damashi up and down with the pelus around. Or with all the pelu, we're catching pumus. They're also known as hoggies. They make grunting noises when they try to take the hook out of them. Sometimes when you bring them in, they tend to float because they have air in their air bladder. So it takes them a bit while to go down. Here I hooked up something that was playing a good fight. And it's another humu. This is not the fish we're looking for. You still on, Jada?
it, bring it, bring it. Oh. So here come on, Apelu. My dad calls them magic bullets because they're so good. And we just saw the school go by and then after he just caught one when he just went for life bait. Here we are using the Apelu for live bait. We're putting it out about 10 feet and putting the floater. They tend to swim away from the boat. Hopefully we get lucky. Time just real light the light. Oh. oh color. Oh it's a big one. Oh it's a big one. It's a big one. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Stabbing it with the uh, gap. Yeah. <laughs> nice first fish of the day. 
Okay. 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 I used the pull you down. Get your sideways, dude. Get your sideways. Right now, I caught one yellow spot peel. What kind of nose? And we caught this guy using the Domashi, like 10 pound test. And I'm so lucky because the line just snapped right when it got into the boat. And it was a really good fight. I can't believe it. the line didn't snap earlier. I'm so glad we got something today. First fish of the day. The fly at the top. Pretty stoked. Yeah. Put it down some. Try to cover your hands. Hey, right now I got something. I have no clue what it is yet, but it's putting up a good fight right now. catch your pelus better if you want to catch big fish it really helps to be able to catch a pelus for bait they're one of the best baits to use out there since moving from Kauai to Oahu it's been hard trying to find where the pelus are but we've been finding them lately here you can see the pelu being attracted to the damashi Here I am with a narrow pelu. Just gonna put it in the bucket before we throw it out for bait. What we're doing is chumming and keeping them around the boat. We've been chumming so much the pelus don't want to eat the damashi. It looks like they almost know where the hooks are. The only ones that want to bite are the humus. And they keep swarming around them too. start trying to eat them because that's all we're catching lately. It's crazy how you see all the hoggies with their pelus swimming in between them. Fight, hoggies will give you that. Just gotta use light tackle. 
We didn't have the curly tails for the doll machine. When you put curly tails on a doll machine, they tend to work a little better. But it was crazy how much hoggies there were. These poles actually worked out pretty good. The only downside of them is you can't use the doll machine with the big hooks. They gotta stay more in the smaller size of the hooks. But otherwise they worked really good. We caught both small and large fish in them today. We caught some huge hummus today.